but my main point of focus is on the jobless, which um, which uh, reached 8.1% or uh, 651,000 jobs lost. Um, I have a couple things I want to say about joblessness and inflation. First of all, uh, I believe the jobless rate figures that we're, give, we're being given are a lie. I believe that it's much worse than, uh, than we're being told. Uh, number two, I believe the real inflation figures are also a lie. Okay, uh, we're having some masking going on right now because the dollar is, in fact, uh, increasing in value because a lot of the scared people around the world are pouring money into the United States because they think this is the last safe haven for any, uh, any um, investments because most of the other economies around the world are in worse shape and uh, potentially could suffer a lot more. So uh, some of the inflation is being masked by people buying U.S. securities in an effort to save what little savings they have left. Uh, so the jobless rate is a lie. Inflation rate is a lie. I think that we're being lied to in a sense that we're being led to believe that things are not as bad as they really are. I think they're a lot fucking worse. So, if, um, if you're inclined to uh, believe that the government would be in the business of fabricating numbers and manipulating things in order to make it seem like things are not quite as bad as they are, then uh, I think you're right on target because uh, there's an agenda being played out here. Uh, I think on the one hand, there is an effort being made by the powers that be to make us think that there is a possibility that the end could be in sight and that recovery could be about around the corner. In other words, a sense of false hope in the population so that any type of quote-unquote remedies that are fucking put forward will be grasped by the people and accepted because they'll view it as a way in which that light at the end of the tunnel can be reached sooner. On the other hand, by the manipulation of such data and because people realize that there is some falsehood in what's being put out as fucking propaganda, will also lead to a certain sense of desperation amongst a portion of the population, which will precipitate more market catastrophe and more economic doom. So, we're seeing two divergent threads here, but I think both of them are planned. So, what does it mean? In my opinion, it means more market turmoil. So, if you still insist on investing in the fucking stock market, I suggest you get your fucking money out of there. I don't know what to tell you to get. Gold is incredibly expensive right now, so, you know, can you even afford to buy some gold? Okay? Silver is relatively inexpensive. That might be something you want to invest in. But as far as the upside potential, I have no way of knowing. Because there's manipulation in, in the uh, precious metals market too. Okay? So you might buy gold. It might go up a little bit. It might crash later on. I mean, since there is a great amount of manipulation in the commodities markets, there's no way to know where to put your fucking money. So, I don't know. You know, even if you take your money out of the bank, as some people have suggested, and keep it, you know, hide it under your mattress or whatever, is that really going to do you any good if the Federal Reserve notes suddenly lose value? Obviously not. So, what is the solution? I don't know. Buy commodities you can actually use if, you know, the worst comes to the worst. You know, I hate to be doom and gloom all the time, but one needs to face fucking reality, okay? You need to face reality. And the reality is that things are fucking bad. And I believe the underlying reality is a lot fucking worse. And that is that we're being lied to about the joblessness, about true inflation, and about the real nature of how bad the economy is. So, you need to wake up and realize that. So, in summary, the Food Modernization Act, as it stands right now, needs to be stopped. 
unless there is a specification placed in there that would exempt family and uh, individual farms who want to grow food and uh, have animals for their own personal use uh, and do not intend to enter into the food supply chain. I don't think having large agribusiness whatever being put under more regulation is that bad of a deal. Uh, but when it comes to family farms, when it comes to individuals, I think the government has no business being involved there because this food is not intended for uh, entering into the food chain. So if that's their fucking intention, then, you know, obviously this uh, legislation needs to be put a stop to or there needs to be radical changes to it before it's passed. So, if you're on to that subject, then that's my suggestion there. Um, and as far as joblessness and inflation and the economy in general, two divergent streams of propaganda. And that is, one, that the light at the end of the tunnel is closer than we think, and the other is that we're desperately sinking into misery those two divergent threads are going to create more market chaos. So, guard your investments in some way. I don't know what to tell you about where to put your money. You know, um, maybe you should buy practical things that you can use yourself that you can also barter later on. Like, maybe, uh, you know, buying cigarettes, even if you don't smoke, so you can sell them to your friends or barter them away to people who do, um, especially probably down the road, uh, taxes on cigarettes and other type of so-called uh, anti-health products will probably uh, rise significantly. Uh, you might want to also buy booze, you know, alcohol. Uh, this can be a great barter item and also, you know, you can use it yourself if you're a drinker. Uh, food, obviously, um, storable food. Uh, dried, dehydrated food. Um, you might want to look at very practical ways that you can do this um, and uh, have your money put into something that can be that can be used and uh, not only by yourself but also bartered if it's necessary. Um, those are just some ideas. I don't know what else to tell you. You know, silver and gold obviously commodities are good. Uh, if you expect that, you know, there's not going to be any market manipulation down the road. But, uh, like I said about gold, you can hardly afford to buy it. So, I mean, is it something that you can do? I don't know. You know, that's something you're going to have to figure out yourself. So, anyway, that's my thoughts on the subject. So, thank you. Good day.